Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. If you've ever wondered about the origin of the Indians, the people of India, according to the Bible, now I present another intriguing question, have you ever wondered where the gypsies, this mysterious people, came from? They have a fascinating and curious history. Let's find out together. Based on the Bible, genetics and the history of peoples and ethnicities, we will investigate the origin of Indians and gypsies, exploring their intriguing history. If you already know our series, please leave a like to support us. And for those who don't know yet, watch until the end. If this video is relevant to you, leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. So let's dive into another episode of our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. According to the Vedic texts or Vedas, which are ancient Indian sacred texts, they mention facing and fighting against a people called Daisha. The Indus civilization described as having dark skin, the native peoples of India have darker skin tones, which is evidence of their origins as descendants of the sons of Noah particularly coming from Ham, the Hamite descent, represented by the inhabitants of southern India, is considered to be the origin of the Indians. In other words, Indians are originally from the Hamitic lineage. This is evident in your skin tone. However, there is also a strong miscegenation with a light-skinned ethnic group who called themselves Aryans. This tribe was most likely Japhethite, composed of fair-skinned, light-eyed people, originating about 3,700 years ago. This Japhethite tribe that also originated other peoples, if you are interested I will leave here in the description the video about the origin of the white peoples, peoples of Europe from the peoples of the lineage of Japheth. Due to the mixture that occurred between them, it resulted in an ethnic division in India due to this miscegenation. The north of the country was inhabited by people with lighter skin and blue or green eyes, while the South was predominantly inhabited by people with darker skin. This strong miscegenation of peoples occurred due to the interaction between them. For example, in this image, we can see a black woman with blue eyes, which demonstrates the mixing and miscegenation that took place in India around 1700 BC. In 500 BC, light-skinned Aryan invaders dominated India, resulting in a combination of Ham and Japheth in the makeup of Indians. It is also important to highlight the influence of Tagarma, considered the father of the Asians, who had a small share of influence in some Indian groups. This Asian portion of Tagarma could have occurred prior to the mixture between the Aryans and the Japhethites, around 1700 BC, as many black-skinned Indians already had straighter hair, which demonstrates this origin. In summary, Indians are originally descendants of Ham, due to their naturally black skin tone. Therefore, their descent goes back to the sons of Noah, specifically the Hamites. In addition, the strong miscegenation with the light-skinned and light-eyed Aryan peoples contributed to the formation of India, where the northern region is inhabited by a brown, white and yellow-skinned population, while the southern region is composed of people of darker tones. Darker-skinned, Hamite black. But now, let's talk about the origin of one of the people that has great genetic similarity with the Indians, the Gypsy people, this mysterious people that settled in several countries in Europe, Brazil, Turkey, Egypt, among others. Despite being nomadic, the origin of this people was a great enigma. For many centuries, few knew where they actually originated. The Roma language, Romani, is an unwritten language, that is, it does not have a writing system. Furthermore, many gypsy customs involved forgetting the past and even burning historical records, which made discovering their origin even more complicated. Over the centuries, there have been many speculations about the origin of the gypsies. Did they come from Egypt, Persia, Morocco, Romania, Albania or even the Ottoman Empire? Many theories and assumptions were raised about the region where these people originated, but everything was very controversial. However, from the 18th century onwards, Europeans began to more systematically study Roma languages, including Romani. They determined that the language spoken by European gypsies belonged to the Aryan branch and the Indo-European languages branch. 
These discoveries help to shed light on the origin of the Roma people. In other words, linguistic researchers determined that the Romani language, Romani, belonged to the Indo-European languages, which includes regions such as Persia and especially India. This means that the primary origin of Roma people is in North India, where the Indian language and its variants are spoken. Over time, other languages mixed with Romani due to the nomadic nature of the Roma people, who migrated from country to country and state to state. This migration led to interactions with other peoples, such as the Persians and even the Arabs, who also have the habit of frequently moving from one region to another. Thus, the Gypsies ended up incorporating influences from these peoples into their culture. For example, there are Gypsies in Turkey, Egypt and other nearby regions, where there has been some mixing with Persians and Arabs. However, this mixing was minimal and not predominant. The Gypsies' origin remains North Indian, which means that they are actually an Indian people who mixed with Persians and Arabs before settling in Europe, including the Iberian Peninsula, and in other European regions before arrive in Brazil, where there are many Gypsies. There are three major groups or branches among the Gypsies, the Ram, the Kalan, and the Sinti. The first document mentioning Gypsies was recorded in 1426, although there are earlier mentions in ancient Persian texts. However, certainty about the origin of the Gypsies was only obtained through genetic tests carried out in 2012 and published in a scientific journal. In these tests, the DNA of 152 individuals from 13 different groups of Gypsies was analyzed, and the conclusions confirmed what the linguistic analyses already indicated, all the results pointed to India as the starting point and origin of the Gypsies. According to genetic tests, Roma traced their origin directly to northern India, more specifically to the Punjab region, close to Pakistan. Now, why did they leave North India and disperse to various parts of the world? They are believed to have fled northern India due to the invasion of the lands where they lived by the armies of Sultan Mahmud Ghazni. In the United States, there are several Gypsy or Roma communities scattered across the country. These communities are made up of different Roma groups and clans, each with their own specific traditions, languages, and backgrounds. The Roma, also known as the Roma, are one of the most prominent Roma groups in the United States. They originate from North India and have migrated to different parts of the world over the centuries. The Roma community in the United States preserves its culture, traditions and Romani language. There are also other Gypsy communities and tribes that can be found in different parts of the United States. Each of these tribes has its own histories, traditions and cultural identities, contributing to the ethnic and cultural diversity of the country. In Brazil, one of the countries with the largest community, for example, the first Gypsies to arrive were the Kalan, about 574 people coming from Portugal and Spain. Then came the Roma from Turkey and Greece, and later the Sinti from Germany after World War II. Therefore, the biblical origin of the Gypsies dates back to the descent of Japheth, since they came directly from northern India, where there are lighter skin tones. However, they also have their Hamitic ancestry, which explains why many Gypsies have a brownish skin tone, whether it be light or darker. This indicates their Hamitic origin, making them descendants of both Japheth and Ham. This is the biblical origin of both Indian and Gypsy peoples, according to the Bible. I hope you all enjoyed and followed until the end. I ask you to leave your like and comment if you have a Gypsy or Indian origin, specifying which Gypsy branch you belong to, whether from the Kalan or any other branch. Thank you all for watching this far and until the next video in our series on the origin of peoples according to the Bible, from Genesis, chapter 10. Also leave your suggestion for the next videos. See you soon.